最強の殺し屋がいたその名は坂本太郎スプリング2024 was quite good for Shonen fans, don't you agree? New Demon Slayer, Kaiju No.8, New My Hero Academia, Windbreaker, and loads more. But let's get ahead of ourselves a bit and just for a short time leave those hype shows behind. After all, the anime industry has got a lot of stuff lined up for us later this year and all the way to the next one. So that's right, today's list will have us look at 10 of my most anticipated shonen titles set to take the stage either later this year or the next. Sequels, new anime, you've got them all in there. So I hate to keep you waiting, let's begin. With the recent video on samurai anime, why don't we open with a newcomer to the genre, Blue Walls of Mibu. No. 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 Japan has no shortage of turbulent eras, but one of the most popular ones to be depicted in popular culture is the end of the Edo period. This era, one that heavily involved the Shinsengumi, is probably on par with the Sengoku era in popularity, and it's right up there in terms of political upheaval. In the midst of all this is an orphan, Neo, who trudges on with his own sense of justice. It's then that he meets two prominent figures, Toshizo Hijikata and Soji Okita. Back when the Shinsengumi was still known as the Miburo, the titular Blue Walls of Mibu, Neo decides to join the ranks of the Blue Blue Wolves, but will a cruel new perspective of the world bring an end to his ideals? We've got no shortage of historical action anime involving samurai characters, but Blue Wolves takes a rather interesting approach, depicting a world where the Shinsengumi was in its infancy, back when it was yet to be known as the notorious police group that it was, all while giving us a look at the Japanese society that gave way to its rise. It's a promising new addition to the samurai anime Clade, and it's set to premiere this fall. Togen Anki comes in next at number 9. <laughs> Oni and Momotaro are two factions at war. While the former causes chaos, the latter protects the human world from the former. Rebellious and unruly Shiki finds himself caught in the crossfire, as his father, a Momotaro, gives up his life defending him from another Momotaro. Turns out Shiki's an Oni, and this incident is the spark plug that ignites his awakening. There's never been a bad time for more supernatural action series, and this looks every bit as exciting for those who are ready fans of the genre. The premise is something you've probably seen before, reminding me of, say, Blue Exorcist or Jujutsu Kaisen. It's man form, however, it boasts some amazing art, and only time will tell if the anime's production quality will exceed those expectations and give us a surprising Dark Horse series. It's scheduled for 2025, so a lot can change from here on out, but for now, that's an anime that you can add to your watch list. At number 8, we have Dragon Ball Daima. It wasn't too long ago that one of the greatest minds in anime history passed, but we still have one last chance to give him a fitting send-off. Yes, Akira Toriyama had left behind one final project for the generations of Dragon Ball fans and it's set to air this 2024. Dragon Ball Daima, however, takes the fans' favourite cast in a new direction, much to the mixed reactions from the fans. I mean, kid versions of the characters? And a canon spin-off to both Z and Super at that. With it also taking inspiration from legends of the Japanese pop culture scene like Dragon Quest, it would be awesome to see what Toriyama was cooking. All I can be sure is that despite Daima seemingly being aimed at a younger audience, old time anime fans will have something to like too. It is Dragon Ball after all, and Daima may just be the last hurrah that looks to shake things up in a way that fans have never seen before. Shangri La Frontier comes at us with a sequel, and it's a number 7. <laughs> In what some people heralded as the renaissance of video game anime, Shangri-La Frontier debuted last year to quite a resounding success. Over the past few years, video game anime has become a mixed bag of reception so to speak, and while you get some entertaining ones like Bofuri, the cynicism with the genre, possibly partly thanks to how it conflates with a lot of forgettable isekai, is understandable. Thankfully though, Shangri-La Frontier came by being an anime that really felt like it was made as a love letter to real life gamers with its game-centric plot that had a lot of heart put into it. For once, the gaming aspects didn't take a back seat, and it came 
as little surprise, well, to me at least, that a sequel was announced. What was surprising was how soon it was scheduled. Full 2024 is the date to mark on your calendars. So with only months to go, it won't be too long before we have ourselves a reunion with Sunraku and the rest of the gang. Second season. We'll have a lot more sequels coming our way, but it's time to move from them and focus on more new anime like Blue Box. As we move to the relatively more mundane alleys of high school life, we have Blue Box, a sports anime coming our way this October. Our protagonist, Daiki, has always put his heart into the sport of badminton. He's also a work ethic extraordinaire, the type of guy who's the first person in the gym for practice. This time, however, he seems to have found his match. Basketball rising star Jinatsu, someone he takes a liking to and happens to always beat him to the punch with practice. The two seem fated to drift far apart, with the up-and-coming Jinatsu being two out of Daiki's league. That is, until one fateful day when Daiki finds out that Jinatsu Jinatsu has become his housemate. If there's one thing that can close the gap between two sports-minded individuals, it's the spirit of competition. Setting his sights on the Nationals, Daiki starts training, hoping to build on his budding new relationship. Romance and sports series aren't a combination you see too often. Quite underutilized if you ask me, given how real-life romances between sports stars is something which isn't exactly uncommon. Our two main characters also have good chemistry, so their developing bond will be definitely at the forefront of this series moving forward. We've got five more shonen anime to go, so don't go anywhere. Before that though, I'd like to ask you for a like if you're liking what you've seen so far. It helps the channel and the video do well and it will make me happy and motivated to keep making these lists for you. Post break, we get back to our sequels with Hell's Paradise Season 2. <laughs> Hell's Paradise had a rather wild ride of a history. Entering its season, it had a lot of hype, being one of the more anticipated shonen series thanks to its intriguing plot in the hands of Mappa. It managed to push through and became a decently entertaining watch with some great fights and character work. It did feel a bit too short, I mean, that would get addressed however as a second season has been announced. Garbimaru and the group's journey through the treacherous island continues with even bigger challenges ahead of them. The plot thickens as more lines are drawn in the battle against the Tencent, with the first season having roughly covered a third of the manga material, I'm expecting a third season to follow for things to get wrapped up. So if you're even mildly interested in the series, don't miss the second season. <laughs> Blue Lock is also getting a sequel, and it's at number four. Amongst the many attempts at rejuvenating the sports genre the past couple of years, one name has stood out and stuck. Blue Lock has definitely risen above its peers in terms of popularity and overall appeal, becoming quite the merchandising juggernaut. That's partly expected though, since it's the sports show that doesn't play along with the rules of the sports show, being framed more as a sports take on the dark battle royale genre. It looked good, was exciting to watch, and had a lot of cool moments the fans will remember. If there's a knock on season one though, it's been the inconsistent art direction that became a tad more evident as the season started winding down. With the new directorial team, it's looking like there's going to be some major shake-up on the books and only time can tell if they can do better than the Season 1 team did. With more hype arcs coming our way, let's keep our fingers crossed that they bring their A-game. Sakamoto Days opens our top three and it's a blast. The greatest hitman of all time left that life in the underworld behind having found love. Now he's known as Sakamoto, everyday convenience store clerk. Turns out leaving behind a reputation like his is more than he bargained for because it seems that many people from his past line of work didn't get the notice. Partners and enemies alike still go after him and holding onto his promise to completely drop his past of killing people, Sakamoto must find new and creative ways of overcoming these trials, all for the sake of his store, his town and all he holds dear. Here's a fun one. Sakamoto Days has been a manga that many people have enjoyed since its inception in 2020. The John Wick-esque premise isn't anything new, as we've already had a lot of these series featuring a guy leaving a shady past behind, only for the past to come knocking on the door again. But if it works, it works. And boy, does Sakamoto Days make it work with how it blends its action scenes with spirited comedy. In a landscape dominated by dark shonen works, Sakamoto Days feels like a comfy change of pace. It's going to be a welcome addition to the lineup that looks to open 2025. The next part of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War is upon us.
When the dust has settled, the second part of Bleach's return was met with great reception. Sure, the honeymoon period is long over, it more than made up for it with so much added content, so much context and added fights that helped showcase what made Bleach such a blockbuster in its heyday. With the second season ending on a cliffhanger, fans were left waiting for the next part. And here we are. Bleach's Thousand Year Blood War is set to return with its third part, subtitled The Conflict, promising the return of a lot of fan favourites as well as the usual fare of added scenes to help build the world's lore. This third part looks to continue the momentum from the first two parts in building to what's already become the definitive way to enjoy Bleach's final arc. Expect expanded battles, more world building culmination and a lot of plot of relevant things to be revealed, all which never found a spot in the original manga. Bleach fans rejoice, we're going to be feasting this 2024. Finishing up the list we have Dun Dun Dun. <laughs> It's time to go wild. Dun 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 is one of the hottest new shows in town, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. You know, a lot of people use that saying as a hyperbole of sorts, but one look at Dun 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 and you know I'm not exaggerating. It's an adventure that's really out of this world with how off the rails things go. Ghosts, aliens, monsters, and everything else under the sun. It feels like someone took Mob Psycho's premise and chucked all sorts of genre elements at it at the weirdest and most absurd ways possible, and the result is a glorious mess. A catastrophic concoction of madness, yet a damn entertainment one of that too, you know. Dun Dun Dun's sheer absurdity shines thanks to its spectacular characters who all do a lot of heavy lifting to make things work. As a manga, it is indeed a solid series, but here's to hoping that the anime will live up to the hype. Fall just can't come sooner. <laughs> With a lineup headlined by Dun 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 and Bleach, things are looking up for Shonen in the next two years. As the list comes to a close, do tell me in the comments below which of the shows you're looking forward to the most. Now if you enjoyed this video, why not check out Best Fights of Spring 2024 and make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Hope you had fun, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.